Mississippi. Joining us now, Senator Joseph Thomas. He represents District 22, which includes the counties of Humphreys, Madison, Sharkey, Sunflower, Washington, and Yazoo. Senator Thomas, thanks for calling in, sir. I know you're in session. You don't have a lot of time, but we appreciate you uh, giving us a couple of moments. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, sir. So what can you report uh, from your district, especially from Rolling Fork? What do you know? Yeah, okay. Well, we, we would like to thank you for this opportunity to get on and talk about my district. Uh, Rolling Fork was just totally uh, destroyed. It was just a devastation. I, I got a chance to see for myself. I had been hearing, but I took a helicopter tour and then got a chance to sit down in um, Rolling Fork and uh looked like somebody had just dropped a bomb. Hmm. So it's uh it was uh heartbreaking just to you know be able to see but I I needed to see uh so we can try to make uh the citizens of Rolling Falls and other areas like uh Silver City to uh, make them whole again. And uh we'll uh, like to thank uh the governor for asking for the emergency de- de- uh, declaration as soon as he did, and, and, and the president jumped right on it, along with our congressional delegation, uh, jumped on it, and we got a record-breaking uh, uh, declaration as of yesterday morning. So we are ready now to start helping the citizens. It's, it's, a, it's a just a horrible situation over there with uh, what has happened, and uh you know, no utilities, no no lights. Uh, uh, we had a lot of people that have come in and have uh, trying to help uh, with the food service and water and, and et cetera. But we needed uh, payments like emergency housing. That's what we're working on now, emergency housing and uh, SNAP payments. So we they will be provided uh, meals every day. And um, that's where we are, really. I mean... In terms of uh, utilities, I think we had about 975 poles that were down. Wow. And, and so many uh, spans of uh, 472 spans of wire down, uh, 438 transformers. So it's, it's it's dangerous on the ground, and we got people on the ground. And it's, it's dangerous that the search and, and rescue has ended, but uh, the people, we need to pretty much get them out and get them in a secure place safe place and where they can uh, get three meals a day. Yeah, and and get a roof over their head as well. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But I'm, I'm real pleased, though, with uh, uh, our congressional delegation, uh, uh, Senator Wicker, Senator Hyde Smith, and especially Congressman Thompson, who that's his second district. Uh, they have really been working, and they want to make us whole over there. And I think they're going to do it. So they brought MEMA, FEMA, MEMA, and those agencies been on the ground, and they know what's happening, and, and they're ready to start uh, helping our citizens over there. We, yeah. we don't want them to give up hope. We want them to uh, uh, go through the process with us, and we're going to make it happen. Yeah, I believe home. We don't, we don't want them to leave home. I mean, they might have to leave temporarily, but we want them to come back. That's where, That's home. And we want them to stay in uh, Shaka County, stay in Rolling Fall, and Silver City also. Right. Is that what you anticipate, Senator, that uh, those communities, uh, uh, Silver City, Rolling Fork, will be rebuilt? Hopefully. Uh, we are excited about uh, the partners that have come in and said that's what they intend to do. Yeah. Uh-huh. We want Rolling Fork back. And and Civil City, I, I want to leave out Civil City, but Rolling Falls, the larger community, and uh, you know, the hospital and schools and all of that buildings, and uh, we want to build back even better than it was. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, I, I know a lot of these families have been there for generations, and and they're, they they can't really fathom moving out of the area. No, no, it's just sad. I, I got a chance. I was going by the uh, saw the shaft in one of the yards, and I stopped and um, uh, talked to him, and he was picking up uh, items, and he was in his mother's yard, and there wasn't anything there but just hmm. just items all over the ground, and um, you know situations like that. 
uh, the Dollar General was completely just a pile of rubbish. It's just like mm. somebody dropped a bomb. I, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. But uh, we're going to build back even better. And uh, people all over the country uh, want to help. And if uh, we, we just got to help each other and, and make it happen. Besides Maybe action that, that the governor can take as, uh, you know, this, the scope of, of uh, control and power that he has with emergency declarations and so forth, is there anything that you're hearing around the Capitol there from lawmakers, some action they may consider taking? Yeah, we're working on, on, on doing something, but the, the federal government had just stepped in and, and uh, you know, they're on the ground. Yeah. So basically, we're going to do some things. That we, we've had uh, had one corporation had uh, uh, offered to give five hundred thousand dollars. Wow! And and I, I thought that was uh, tremendous. And I, I've shared that information with the mayor. The mayor over there is, is Mayor Eldridge Walker, mm-hmm. and uh, and also Supervisor Woodrow Johnson in Silver City is uh, contact people. But uh, I've gotten over twenty uh, requests. As soon as they can identify uh, their needs and who to send what to, uh, we have companies that want to provide equipment, uh, food, clothing, uh, major players that want to do want to help us put it back. Yeah. But but I was uh, one of our companies that operate uh, uh, in offered to. Um, Give them five hundred thousand dollars. That's awesome, and and uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. We don't have to reveal the company, Senator, but I'm challenging all corporations to yeah. uh, to get on to get on board and to to help uh, in the recovery efforts in these communities. Uh, the, the private sector would like to see them give back. That's right. That's right, and that's what's happening. Um, you know, basically, uh, without going over my list, we, but we do have uh, quite a few. Companies uh, that operate um, like Walmart, Amazon, and companies like that. Sure, that's so that's good to hear. We just got uh, realtors uh, association. Just a lot of people are waiting, and I think my board is meeting in Rolling Fork today. And as soon as they can tell us how to refer people to them, and, and where to send what you know items and whatever, uh, my my community in. Um, Civil City uh, talked to the supervisors this morning, and they desperately need clothing. Um, and so we're putting out a, a cry for items of clothing at this point. Now, FEMA's in, but it's going to take a minute for them to get those uh, funds and channeled down to the individuals. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're talking it, about immediate stuff like today. <laughs> what, where, how can folks help? Uh, do you, do you have any? Well, as soon as we get uh, the contact from those organizations, we don't want people sending stuff all over everywhere. Sure. But, uh, as soon as the mayor uh, tells me set up the procedures, who to send it to. Okay. Uh, and the same thing with uh, uh, Civil City, then we'll be ready to do what 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 we need to do. But in the meantime, people are dropping off. Uh, uh, they're dropping stuff off at the city bond, I mean, county bond in uh, Silver City, and they're dropping the old uh, armory in Rolling Fork. They're dropping Got off. It. And we got people from two or three counties. They've been in there cooking, and, and uh, they're in there now serving food, hot food. We'll be looking for more information, and we'll yep. certainly pass it on as well. Senator, okay. I know you're busy okay. in session. Appreciate you joining us, sir. The, get back on the floor. Yes, Thank sir. You, yeah. Thank you. All right. Yes, okay. sir.